I played women's rugby for 26 years. I played league and union. Um, and unfortunately, in my last women's game, um, I rugby union, not league, took a tackle from a scrum half um, off the ball at the back of the ruck. And unfortunately, my spinal cord was crushed. Um, and I was left for about eight weeks. And unfortunately, the nerves to my legs um, died. And then due to that, I ended up with a condition called CRPS, Compact Regional Pain Syndrome. Um, so because my legs and my feet don't work properly, I've had them rebuilt. Um, and bilateral foot drop. So now I've moved over to the wheelchair game, um, which wasn't an easy start. Coming from the running game, I didn't think I'd be able to play again. And a friend of mine, um, who I used to play rugby with, um, decided that she was going to drag me there, um, kicking and screaming. Um, I sent a message first of all though, because with me being trans, I didn't know if I was even allowed to play because of all the uh, controversy currently. Um, got told to come down, just join in the same as anybody else. I've been there nearly six years now, um, but as soon as I did walk into that room, um, and I say walk, it was literally limping, leg braces. Um, I saw the wheelchairs and I burst into tears because I thought, I can't do this, I don't want to be here, this isn't my fault, this isn't why I should be here. Um, and since playing for the club, um, they've been absolutely amazing, they've been so supportive. I had another spinal in um, injury, so I ended up in the chair most of the time now. And it's been amazing, it's, it really is a team for everybody. And um, being trans as well during um, gender surgeries and things like that, the club has been brilliant, they've supported me every step of the way. Um, when I've hit the news headlines as well for still playing because of who I am, they've been great. And the wheelchair team just gives everybody the opportunity to come together. It doesn't matter who you are, what gender you are, what disability you have, we're all there together. And at the end of the day, just because I'm trans is not the person that I am. I'm a rugby player, I just happen to be trans. So for me, Leeds Rhinos has given me everything that I could have possibly hoped for that I thought I'd lost. For me, um, being at the Rhinos, especially the wheelchair team, gives me the opportunity to be me. Um, when I first joined, um, we had a lot of issues about getting me registered because I kept getting registered as a female because I came from the running game, so everything got moved over. So it was constantly seeing Miss and female and she in emails. And now I get known as just Verity, just as myself, male. I'm a rugby player. I'm out there with the rest of the lads. And do you know what? It's not the lads I'm scared of. It's actually the only woman on our team, which is Jodie. <laughs> I'll take the lads any day over Jodie. But it just means that I can be myself. I don't have to hide anything about me. I can, even silly things like being able to get changed on the side of the pitch. No one's ever had an issue from day one, even before surgeries and things. Everybody's been great. And it's nice to be able to carry on playing because I thought I was going to lose absolutely everything um, and thought I'd never have rugby again, which put me into a really dark place. Um, and now I get to go out there with all my friends. I've got my friends coming to watch me and I've still got my teammates from the women's game still involved in my life and coming to watch as well. So it's given me a platform to carry on playing no matter my injuries, no matter gender, no matter um, what the future brings now. I've still got a sport that I can play as long as that my disability allows. It's very open. I think it's great that um, everybody can get involved, no matter what gender, no matter what sexuality. Um, the disability game is open to anybody, and it's great. And we're seeing more and more people from the LGBT community getting involved. I've seen some young trans people getting involved in um, the game in other clubs around the country. And it's great as well. We've seen some young trans children turning up to games with their parents, with placards and things like that. And I think it's absolutely amazing because there is bans in place at the moment. Rugby league does need to do better um, to support young people. They should be able to dream to be rugby players too. And not everybody wants to play the rugby. They might want to be a spectator, a coach, a referee. There's so much more that can be on offer. But we do need to make rugby everybody's game again for anybody, no matter what. And rugby league at the moment is the only part that we can do that. So if we can show that we can do it here, then possibly we can work again and get back to where we was with the RFL and make sure that young people can dream to play rugby league as well, the same as anybody else.